Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be explaining to you the button. In my last video I talked about the resistor, which is a component that's very useful and allows current to get regulated in a circuit. In this case I had an LED and I used the resistor to prevent it from getting fused. Now I'm going to be using a button. And with this button, what it'll do, it'll turn off and turn on the circuit just like this. Well, if it's connected to the battery, it's going to work. Well, if only the thing would go in, it would work. There's my light. As you can tell, as I press the button, the light turns off and it turns on. That is the basics of this button. Now I'll show you how you can build your own circuit using a button. So over here, I left my button. Now I'm going to be putting my LED on the fifth row. That doesn't mean you'll, you have to put it in the fifth row. I just put it in the fifth row because it makes my circuit a lot more organized. I'll be having my 320 ohm resistor, so I, <coughs> I have good regulation over my circuit. Plug it in just like so. Make sure that when you're connecting components, each on um, each ends, each leg of the components are connected to each of the extremes of the breadboard. Just like so. That. Two jumper wires to conduct current to our battery. The button has four leads. We're going to be connecting two, uh, two resistors and two wires to function to make our button function. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two wires. So here are my two jumper wires. So right here. And I'll have this one connected there on the leads. Make sure it's on the same rows as the leads. Because if one of the wires are connected in a, in a different row, then your circuit will not function properly. Let's see, another resistor. We are using 320 ohm. Now we are ready to connect it directly to the battery. So just like so. We connect. And LED, we gotta make sure it is turning on, just that it's not really doing what it should be doing. Alright, so the green LED turned on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the button and the LED should turn off. And once that happens, that's how we know that we wired our button correctly and that we've done every single step correctly. There are different types of buttons, some have two leads, some have four leads. Doesn't matter if yours has two, just make sure that your wires are connected to the same rows as the leads are from your button. Thank you guys for watching this video, I'll see you guys next time.